You'll see sprinklers throughout Rutherford County office buildings, but some builders are angry about a proposal to require them for some new homes. I'm a builder. I'm not opposed to putting them in. I can do that. But it's, I think the public doesn't want them. Sprinklers would not be required for all new homes, just those in areas more than 1,000 feet from a fire hydrant or where water pressure is too low to support a hydrant. If you uh, have a structure fire out in the county and you respond to that structure fire and there's no hydrant, then what you have to do is you have to set up drafting operations. We shuttle water from, uh, from wherever that hydrant is located to that, that fire scene. Chief Farley says that's exactly what happened in February when 69-year-old Jan Marlin died in a house fire. The nearest hydrant was three miles away. She was uh, uh, not able to walk. Her family got out, but she wasn't able to get out because she couldn't, you know, she had trouble. She was handicapped, so she perished in fire. The Planning Commission is looking at it as an alternative uh, for one in those areas where uh, water lines cannot support fire hydrants and, but still wanting to allow residential developments in those areas. I mean, one option they have would be just to say, okay, if it can't support fire hydrants, you're just not allowed to build. Sprinklers would add an estimated three to $5,000 to the cost of a new home. There is always an upside to everything, but is the upside outweigh the cost and the long-term cost and the affordability of a home for somebody. For now, the debate remains unsettled in Rutherford County. Erica Latham, Fox 17 News.